Welcome to the channel. I am the King Koopa. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you're having a great day. It is 15 degrees here in wonderful Indiana where there is nothing to do. So uh, we're going to do some more modifications. We got our 220 volt heater on and the garage is pretty toasty so we're about to start on our black truck. She is pretty dirty right now. Normally I keep her pretty clean and tucked away for the winter. But if you've seen my last video, you will know exactly why she is dirty. I totally smashed the front end of her doing some drifting at my parents' house. If you have not seen that yet, be sure to go check it out. I already have the new bumper on order, and i got to talk to my painter to get on his waiting list. That should be fixed in no time. We got everything laid out. Let's check out what we got. So we got all four sets of our tire letters. The top is going to say the King Koopa. The bottom is going to say work truck. We got our transfer paper. We got our high strength tire adhesive bonding we got the instructions 150 grit sandpaper to roughen up the tire and they did send us a couple stickers which i already got my other one on the toolbox right there and as a bonus they even sent me these crowns i'm not sure if i'm going to use these or not our first step to installing these bad boys is we got to get our sidewalls clean so we're going to be using a strong detergent and we're going to scrub these clean it says per the instructions up to five applications this is going to get all that road grime all the salt off and then on top of that, especially if it's a new tire, you're going to want to clean it multiple times because those do have harmful acids from the factory that can stain your treadwear tire letters. Ain't that right, sweetie? To clean our sidewalls, we're going to be using the Adams Polish Tire and Rubber Cleaner. We're going to spray this on, and then we are going to use our tire brush to uh, get that nice and clean. Afterwards, we're going to hose it down and move on to the next tire. But instead of using this brush, we're going to speed it up a little bit. For our next step, we're going to use a supplied sandpaper. We're going to scuff up the sidewall here. Make sure you don't remove too much material and that the rubber stays intact. We're just getting a rough surface so that the letters have something to adhere to. Cut! <laughs> you need the little. <laughs> <laughs> you do, you guys gotta buy one of them. We should. Yeah. So, since we're spending all this time to do it, we're gonna make sure it's done right. And I think the best way for us to do it is we're gonna leave this Michelin chunk here and the Michelin chunk here so it basically divides the tire in half. So, we came up 50 50 mark right up here, marked it with a pencil, and now we're gonna put the King Koopa on this top half work truck on the bottom half and it'll be symmetrical with Michelin in the middle so you'll still be able to read that on both sides. Clack. Clack. Here. Clack. We just scuffed up all four tires on these sections. We have the tire leveled out now 50-50 so Michelin on this side, Michelin on this side. Got our pencil mark in the middle. Next step is to take uh, some isopropyl alcohol, 50 to 70% diluted, and uh, we're going to clean all that debris off, make sure it's a nice clean surface. Um, you could also use nail polish remover. Um, just be very careful with that because it's strong stuff. One good way to remove these tire tits instead of pulling them off and trying to sand it down, just get you a set of these small nippers. You can just get up nice and close, push in just a little bit. There we go, nice and flush. We have this universal transfer paper. Uh, a difficult thing about this is this is not a curvature for a 22 inch wheel. This is a universal size. So we're going to have to kind of modify this paper a little bit. That way the letters look uniform on the tire. Alright, so we got our two pieces of templates now. We got it taped in the middle and it, uh, we got it lined up. So now when we lay our letters out, we're gonna follow this shaded contour line of the tire on the paper, and we'll transfer it to our sticky sides, put the glue on the back, and then transfer it to the tire. Now that we got our letters laid out, we're going to grab our sticky paper. If you want to grab it from that side. Sorry. 
Now we got our sticky side on, we can peel this off. Flip it back over and now we can apply our glue. We have our high bond tire adhesive and now we're gonna try to work quickly. We got our gloves on, safety glasses on. We're gonna coat this kind of heavy. Where do you want grab that side. Come up, come up, come up. Yeah, the only mess up was right here, which I could almost probably take a razor and just line it up and cut it right yep, there. You could just don't cut into your tire. <laughs> Now that we got both sides done of the King Kuba, we spun the tires over and then got our center point again between the two Michelin tires. So we're going to lay out our work truck and then we're going to do that the same. Um, you could have done top and bottom, but we just did the King Kubas first and we're doing the work trucks second. So that way all the tires are symmetrical and they are uniform. We also had these little crowns as a bonus that they sent to us. We were thinking about putting them between work and truck, but Honestly, we weren't sure, so I don't think we're going to use it. But we got our work truck laid out, matching the contour of our stencil. So now we're going to peel this transfer paper off. Since this is a shorter word, we are going to use one piece for the truck and one piece for the work. And then we're going to put them up one piece at a time. And I think that's going to help on the installation because trying to work that whole big piece of the King Koopa definitely needed two people, if not three. Now we have truck, we're gonna go stick that to the tire. We're gonna get our second piece, apply it to the work part, and we're gonna put it up there. So that way we can get our measurement on the T because we know T is the center letter. So we're gonna put that on there, get it centered on our center mark on the tire, and that way we can measure the ends to make sure it is symmetrical on that side of the tire between the Michelins. Jeez, do you understand all that? Oh yeah. <laughs> all right, so. All right, we got our stuck on there. Now we're gonna measure from our Michelin point to the K, which is just about three and three quarters. I measure from here, three and a half. So we're actually really close. I think if we put truck on first and then slid this K a little closer, it'd actually be pretty One spot point. on. She gonna look good. Ready break. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Do you want my help since you're doing this one? Oh, I think I'll be all right. I think they're all pretty solid so far. It's still a little wet, but yeah. Look at you go, bud. Oh, that's heavy. There's still more. <laughs> when we get done with this, I'm gonna go and ask Juliet if this is how you are with toothpaste. <laughs> Collins in there with two pairs of pliers. <laughs> I will get every last drop of this toothpaste. You're about to rip the bottle. <laughs> oh, that's some thick stuff. That's gonna... That might run. That might be where we get runs. I think we keep going. Perfect. Keep going. That's a little too much. Oops. These ladders aren't coming off, though. That's what we want. And you can see how thick it was in between these letters. It'll be good from five feet. Oh, absolutely. Almost everything looks good from about five feet away. 
Except your mother. Oh. <laughs> She's a nice lady. I was about to say. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, buddy. We are completely finished with the install. This thing turned out great. Um, I already sent a couple pictures to my some of my buddies and they all think they look like NASCAR tires. So this thing, personally, I think this thing looks fast even though it's sitting still uh, not super fast. It's got a little bit of a build motor, but this install did take a lot longer than anticipated. Using more glue, even though it squeezes out the side, I think it's definitely a better method than using less glue because on the first tire that we used less glue, we had to go back through, pull up the corners and re-glue all the corners and pull those until they sealed. On Treadwear's website, I believe they only allow like 22 characters for an order. I actually had to call and get this custom order done because my number count exceeded the amount of characters that you're allowed. So if you're wanting to do something like this on your tire and you have a lot of letters like I do, I would definitely recommend picking up an extra bottle of their glue. It's like 12 bucks. I use both bottles that come with the kit and I will be ordering a third bottle just in case down the road a couple months from now or a year from now if one of the letters decides to peel up or fall off. That way I can just glue it right back on. This is not the only other font that they have. This is the racing font. They have like eight or nine different fonts that you can pick from, a whole bunch of different sizes in case you have a smaller tire. I was thinking about getting another set of these for Betty White, my big lifted white truck on 40s, thinking about putting the King Kugel on the top and probably like Pavement Princess or something like that on the bottom. So let me know in the comments what you think about that and what you think about the truck, how it turned out. Let me know if you like it, if you don't like it, if you love it or hate it, it's all good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this install. If this helped you out or you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and I would appreciate it if you'd hit the subscribe button channel has been growing a lot lately and it is amazing so thank you guys i appreciate it you guys are a great support system so thank you for everything hope you're having a great day and i'll see you in next week's video